Right, ladies and gentlemen, we move on with K1 over three. Two minute rounds of action as sponsored by Direct Electrics. Would you welcome first into the blue corner, representing Team Fuzetta, Osvaldas Juvesas. And would you welcome his opponent into the red corner, representing the Red Dragons, Pottery Painter! Everybody. So we move on once again with K1 and Osvaldas Gervasis, Team Fuzetta against Clottery Painter from Red Dragons, the famous Red Dragon. So I hope that Gervasius brings his A-game because Red Dragons are well-schooled, great K1 fighters. If you look at the results, though, it's not going well for the blue corner. Big round kick to the midsection from Painter. And they're asked to split them very quickly. And the way they go again, explosive start from these two men. Painter working behind the jab. Gervais is stepping back, looking to take that lead leg when it's kicked out. Nice upper body movement from Painter. Gervais is being called on by his corner. Yeah, Painter is using the range a little while he's throwing the teeth, but Gervais is throwing the leg kicks. And skinny legs of Painter may not be able to withstand it for three rounds. Well, he's trying to take centre ring, which is good, and that front push kick, the teeth there from Painter. But Gervasius does look sharp. Painter takes the leg. Gervasius showing great balance there. Showing great balance. Yes, and again, uh, Gervasius' corner is saying that once you grab the leg, you're allowed one technique. You've got that one moment to make the technique work. And so Gervasius' corner is saying maybe he should have released earlier and this is what Mick Fold is probably saying to him if you don't succeed with the technique you must release heat of the moment though it is and especially if as I know with Red Dragons you train Muay Thai as well you're not you don't have to in Muay Thai you've got to remember to switch your disciplines you, you throw the technique then you must release whereas in Muay Thai he had every right to hold the leg and, and keep going but this is K1 and I think this is what Mick's just explaining the difference said come on Think about it, you must release. And away they go again. And Gervais is chopping away at that lead leg and Painter replying with the cheek to the midsection and to the thigh. I think Painter's setting up the round ass, the right round ass. He's showing his hips. Yeah, he looked for the support leg there and just missed it. Whereas Gervais has caught it and a short little right hook in there as well. Got the attention of Painter. Dangerous opponent here. You wouldn't want to be on the end of too many of those right hooks there. Like. No, both men trying to take centre ring and show the aggression of K1, the dominance there. And again, both men landed solidly, but you just feel in the boxing that maybe Gervasius is the more powerful of the two men. Yeah, he landed well there, but Painter's coming forward. That's right, well, you've got to look at it. We don't know much about Team Fuzetta, but I'm sure that they can see what, what's working. And so again, Painter went to come with that low kick, the leg was caught on a great right hand counter by Gervasius. And again, a stiff jab from the Team Fuzetta man. Painter sticking to his task, George, which is chopping away at those legs. Yeah, I'd like to see uh, Painter utilize his long arms uh, some straight punches because uh, Gervasius if you look at his guard is very wide very wide guard there's a, there's a big gap in the middle well Gervasius got through with a very nice right low kick left hook and then a straight right hand there Gervasius is throwing power punches every punch thrown with intent there we go that was a great punch a straight 
straight on the chin of Painter. That's right, the right hand countered by the cheap kick, but this time the cheap kick is to the groin of Gervasis, which it's a shame the momentum was going nicely with both fighters there, but again, Painter's got to watch the hands of Gervasis, very dangerous, and as you said, he's got through with some sweet punches. So Gervasis says he's ready to go again. And Painter being told to keep his hands up. So Gervasis switching this time and Painter for the first time grimaces at the low leg kick. So Gervasis good at switching it up as well, George. Yeah, it might be taking, taking his toll on the skinny legs of Painter. Now that's right from Painter, chopping, you can see him grimace but being ordered on, chopping with those legs, left, front and back. So he's being caught, he's being caught, counted by Gervasis. Some yes. heavy hands. Well he's had to dig deep George, that's for sure, he really has, he's grimaced a couple of times from those low leg kicks there as you said. And yeah, then Gervasis brings the hands over the top. He's grimacing at every, every, every punch and kick he throws, every punch and kick he gets hit with, he's grimacing. But he's going to keep coming forward, that's how they roll with the Red, red Dragons, they, they don't give up. They're trained so well, they're conditioned so well, this guy's going to keep coming forward and put Gervasis under pressure. He's going to have to chop him down before he, come, he stops coming forward. And there is that possibility because Gervasis, for me, as the second round went on, got stronger. Yeah, he's neutralised Painter's game pretty well. You know, the taller Ranger guy in Painter. And he's... He's neutralising me, he's checking the kicks and he's he's moving forward to land some bombs. So you heard the corner say push him back and Painter needs to. This is K1, they need to see the aggressive fighter coming forward. And that's better from Painter, that's what he needs to do. And a good knee there on the inside. Pushing forward but he walks onto that jab, you saw his head snap back there and that's the problem for him, he's got to be careful of Gervasis' counters. He's in a no-win situation in one respect. He must push forward, but Gervasis is accurate on the counter. Yeah, it's a catch-22. His corner is shouting to keep going forward, but then he gets caught with massive shots like that from Gervasis. I'm surprised he's like, I'm surprised he's taken that. Any any other man that will knock out. Well, he took that well, as you said, and just came forward again. But this is the danger for him. He must come forward to take this round, but he's going to walk on to punishment. What a game fighter Painter is. And his corner corner one again, they know, and they're right. The thing is, though, George, they are dead right. He must come forward, he must control this round. But as he does, he's going to be open to those big counters. Yeah, he's leaving himself susceptible to those counters. He's walking forward, which is needed, because he needs to look like he's controlling the round, and he needs this round. If he doesn't win this round, then there's absolutely no chance he can win. This round, maybe it's close. Maybe 2-1 to Tuvesa still, but... You know, he's got to win this. I would say Peyton needs to knock out here, but I can't see it happening. He doesn't look to have, it, to have it left in the tank. No, he's trying hard. He's game. He's determined. But there again, Gervasis on the counter. There's the danger. If the referee wasn't there, I'd, I'd be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised to see him on the, on the deck there. And Gervasis chops at that lead leg once more. He just looks the stronger of the two at the moment. Catching man with the left. They're calling Painter on. It's a tall order as Gervasis again, but fair credit to Painter, look at this, this is what he needs, but again, nice turning work by Gervasis, he did everything that was asked of him, did Painter, whether it's enough though, George, I really don't know, we're going to find out, you can't blame his spirit or his, his attempts, I've just got a feeling we're going to go with the blue corner, that's just my gut feeling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as always tonight, please, let's hear it for both our fighters in the ring. Three are rounds of K1 action. And our fighters have split our judges to a majority decision. But that majority is in favour of the blue corner of Valdez Gervasis. And ladies and gentlemen, don't forget our ring girls here tonight voluntarily for the great cause.